everyone and welcome back to Hearthstone Village and do I ever have some very exciting news so we have got a lot of things to clean in our paddock so we're gonna do that very first thing but you guys are probably noticing something very special about the horses in the stables here in our Montana ranch and that is we've moved over a certain little girl who's no longer little here to montana so she has arrived this is our dutch harness let's go in and say hello to her but we have our beautiful dutch harness april here with us now look at her oh she's gorgeous and she is here at the montana ranch because that is indeed where our Creelio is and i feel so silly because i spent all of last time talking about how they were both girls and oh no we'll have to breed them to get a boy well guess what chestnut is definitely a a stallion so i kind of got that completely wrong so we don't have to panic we have lovely april who is definitely a female and then over here in a brand new stable i might add let's open it on up there you go boy a nice fancy stable for you not level three but it's a good level two stable right over here is chestnut and he is for sure a boy so we can actually breed the creelio and we can breed the dutch harness and we can try to get the leo baby oh my goodness look 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 creelio dutch harness leo baby and we're going to do that in just a little bit for now we're going to kind of poke around the the paddock we're gonna make sure everything is well taken care of we're gonna tend to everything and I think that it may be the end of Bramble's time with us unfortunately because we still aren't level 16 so we aren't able to open up another stable and I think it's about time to say goodbye to Bramble I think we're gonna run him once or twice more over in one of the um one of the the steeple chases and then it's going to be time to love him and send him on his way so we have room for the babies of these guys so i'm pretty excited about that oh and it looks like we've got a little bit of grass down here let's go ahead and harvest up what our horses desire down here and then i'm going to get some more grass planted because apparently grass is what chestnut wants to eat all right, I know Chestnut, I'm working on it. And then we have our beautiful girl, oh, our lovely Rocky Mountain Horse, Willow. And she is getting higher and higher on the levels. She's really good at running a new steeplechase we have in Australia. And it is a very challenging, very exciting steeplechase. So I think I will be showing you guys that in just a minute. Because the Australian steeplechase is something completely different from the others we've done. There we go. She's a happy girl. Oh, and you want some granola? Oh, in fact, I better check to see if the granola is a thing. Hmm, we'll do that in a second. All right, let's see what kind of mail we have. Other horse farmers have visited your village and want to be your friend. Alex, thank you so much for visiting Flash. Oh, and you have a Canadian. Look at that. Or Canadian Pacer. Sure, you can be our friend. Ah, oh, Melanie, Georgie, Jaina, Unknown, Unknown, and Luke, thank you for visiting the village. Yay! And our friends have used our horses as breeding animals. So look, we have the social breeding reward. Yay! And then Malene, Georgie, Gianna, and none, and none. So that could be anyone. It could be you guys. And Luke, thank you so much for coming and petting my horses. And I have been completely beaten by several of our friends in the Mexican steeplechase. We'll have to get to that. And... I think I saw someone driving by. Nope, must have been my imagination. Oh dear, there's a lot of grass wanted from both of our rare horses. So let's get some more grass planted in the fields. There we go. And let's go ahead and see what kind of quest we've completed. Owning a level three stable in Montana, yay! Reaching 700 meters in a steeplechase, yay! Owning four stables in Montana, mm, we got it. And I still can't quite figure out the level three farm center in Montana, so I feel kind of silly. We also need to free roam two more times. I could have sworn we free roamed more than that. Oh, free roam is different than sending our horses out to the pasture with our stable hand friends. I get it now. We haven't bought a male horse yet, and we haven't even made red label food to sell, but we could sell three oats. I am positive we could get away with that. So let's pop in here. And we're gonna sell, the, there we go, three oats. 
Woohoo! And now we unlocked another quest. I love quests. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but I love quests. And owning two level 10 horses, which I sure am trying to work on. Let's look at our beautiful Dutch harness. Do we have the grass yet? Sorry, April. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it, lovely. All right. April's going to get the grass first because of her stamina. I really would love to race her in some of the races. All right, girls. So let's go ahead and feed you. Almost there. Oh, my goodness. You want so much more food than the, the special level horses. There we go. That's better. Oh, and she's going to want apples in a minute, too. Well, we'll take care of her in just a moment. Now, let's look at our achievements. Sell 10 horses and spend 100 diamonds. Woohoo! And we are working hard at getting up to the 100 steeplechases reward. We're clearing out all the lands in Montana. Let's see. Own 5 level 10 horses at the same time. Own 10 level 10 horses at the same time. Oh, my goodness. Own 6 adult horses at the same time. Oh my gosh, breed 50 horses. We've already bred 13 horses, you guys. That's so exciting. And I do want to breed up another horse today. But before we breed them, I want to race these two so that we can at least get the steeplechase points because I have a feeling any baby from them would take a while to get here. So let's see if I can enter one of them in the amazing Australian steeplechase, which is brand new and I haven't shown you guys yet. Oh good, we can enter both of them. Let us put April in because I want to see what this golden stamina can do. Oh, this is exciting. The Australian steeplechase is a lot trickier than any of the other steeplechases we've been in yet. All right, April, let's see how far we can go. Here we go. Now, the Australian steeplechase has a lot of obstacles, including a hoop you have to jump through. And the hoop really threw me off at first, so hopefully we won't get too um, too in trouble. Because when you hit... Oh, no! Woo! We made it! Okay, maybe you just have to run through those or, like, gently hop. Whoops, oops, oops! Phew! Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that hoop can be very tricky, because if you hit... Oops! If you hit an obstacle... Oh, that happens! I need to start looking more at the obstacles and less at the coins, because one hit from an obstacle can completely destroy how many coins you can get, because it, it takes away so much of your stamina. Oh, and I love the music. Go, April, go! Woohoo! And there's a Japanese Seabull Chase, too, so I would love to go to the one in Japan as well. There we go, we made it through the other hoop! They're very tricky, if you ask me. Oh, like that tricky! Alright, we're going to continue with our, our diamond because this is just so amazing. And I want to see how much a golden stamina horse can endure, especially because look, we're already at a thousand coins. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, oh, dang it. Maybe I just need to walk through that? We'll try walking through the next one. Oh, phew, we do just need to walk through it. And here I was thinking we were supposed to like jump. Oh, dang it, they're different heights. <laughs> Okay, well, unfortunately, at the cost of April's Oh, that was a walkthrough one. Dang it. At the cost of April's performance, I have learned now. Oh, that one's a jump through. Oh, okay, April, I'm going to give her... I shouldn't have spent the diamonds, but I want to give her one more chance. There. There we go, because it was totally my fault. Because that's tricky. And the thing is, the course, unlike the other courses, is never the same twice I'm finding. I think there's like a variety to them, so some of them repeat, but they're, they, they're not the same each two times I've come here. Alright, jump, 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 jump! Oh, April, I'm sorry! And little jump. Good job, April. Alright, run and jump. So many coins! Hopefully this will pay a little bit for the fee that trying to breed that legendary Leo horse is going to cost us little jump. Good job. Because I know that legendary Leo horse is going to be so much in fees. So much in breeding fees from our own horses, too. Actually, will it be breeding fees if it's our own horses? I think so. I think there's a small breeding fee. Alright, there we go. Oh, no! Oh, see? They tricked me. Curse of the coins. They tricked me into thinking it was safe to jump, and it wasn't. Oh, no! And we're done. There we go. Well, that was fun. We got over 2,000 coins, and you guys got to see the new steeplechase.
and it's pretty intense. It is very, very intense. So good job, April. Woohoo! And one of our friends actually has still beat us out, and it looks like she also has a Dutch harness or a American paint. All right. So let's see how this is going. And so that's April with gold level endurance and skill there. Let's feed her a couple apples to say thank you. All right, let's feed you a few apples, sweetie. Here you go. One, two, three, four. Good job. There we go. She should recover in no time. She wants more grass already. <laughs> these silly little ones. All right, well, we are actually going to try breeding these two now because we've worked so hard. They've gone on the steeplechase. We've seen how April runs when she's got max stamina. It's amazing. And let's see what kind of babies we can get from these two. Come on over, Chestnut. And then come on over, April. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it is expensive. Oh, thank goodness it's like off right now a percentage off all right we're gonna breed these two breeding event reward yay oh it's the time when we can pick the one we want yes and we definitely want this leo the constellation rarity which is so exciting he doesn't look like he'd have the best stats but he's worth diamonds you guys oh my goodness speed stamina and jump so that's going to be uh his skills not very high now, if we had another Dutch Harness, she would have her mother's stamina. If we had another Creelio, we would have her father's uh, jump and stamina. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna go for the Leo. I hope. Oh, <gasps> you guys! It costs diamonds, and I don't have the diamonds. It costs two hundred diamonds, and I don't have the diamonds. How do I like cancel it? Um. I want this one. I don't have the diamonds. Oh no! What have I done? Oh dear. Not enough diamonds. We're short a whole bunch of diamonds. Oh my goodness. How could I get some diamonds? Completing some, some achievements? Oh no, you guys. What are we gonna do? I've just locked our two horses into the breeding chamber and I can't get them out because they're stuck in breeding until we have enough diamonds. Oh my goodness, our horses are being held for ransom. Oh, I had no idea it would be like that. Oh no. Well, this is awkward. Um, um is there some way to cancel this please? Because even if I use, like, the 80, the cheapest one, to try to get out of there, we won't be able to. Oh, no, that's to guarantee it. I'm so silly, you guys. I am blushing so hard. That's to guarantee the birth. Oh, that's fine. All right. No, this is fine. This this is going to result in a baby. Oh, jeez. I am so silly. It is too early for this silliness theory. <gasps> yes, you guys! No way! We got the Leo! We actually did it! We actually got the Leo! We actually got the Leo! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is amazing! Oh my goodness, we're gonna ask for help and we're gonna get this baby born as quickly as we possibly can so we can see what they're like. All right, oh, we don't have enough people to hire. Oh wait, 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 almost. Wait, uh, is that enough? Darn, we don't have enough people. Oh wait, there and hire. There we go. We selected eight of our friends, and in another six hours and 18 minutes, we will have Wizard, the Leo horse, born onto our ranch. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Yeah, his stats actually are not as good as his mama's stats, but the point is we'll have a Leo horse, so we'll raise him up, we will figure out, um, what his breeding ratios are he might be like a founding a founding stallion for a line of leos that we could breed because getting coins for the birth of baby horses sounds like a fantastic idea to me so that's wonderful well all right guys talk about a successful little trip oh and here's a new friend hello new friend with your favorite horse ocean we're gonna pop over to your place and just say hello real quick so we can make sure to add them onto our our ranch list of friends there we go, a little invite. There we go, invitation sent. 
Oh, and their farm's doing well. Good. All right. Well, you guys, we did it. We bred a Leo. And it's going to be a little boy. And now we're just going to have to kind of sit back and see what he's going to be like. So that'll be for next time. And until then, I'm going to get some grass planted and some granola bars made for the horses. In fact, it might be time to go ahead and see about upgrading our bakery. Because our horses definitely want the bakery upgraded. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.